polar bear playing a guitar, a robot that looks like a Picasso, a koala dunking a basketball. Can you draw a picture that pops into your head right away? You're probably thinking of an image you've seen before, or perhaps of something created by your own imagination. But even for us humans, it's not easy to turn a thought or an idea into a specific picture. Here's a model that makes that possible. It's called Dolly 2, and it was recently released by OpenAI. If you use this model and type in a polar bear playing the guitar, you will actually get a picture of a polar bear playing the guitar. The same will go if you type a koala playing basketball. Then, you will get a picture of a koala playing basketball. In January 2021, Dolly was developed by OpenAI and immediately hit the headlines. In short, it's an AI model that can generate images from text. Does the name Dolly ring a bell? Perhaps the name Salvador Dolly, the surrealist painter, popped into your mind. That's right, they named it Dolly, inspired by the Spanish artist, as well as the robot animation movie WALL-E. Many efforts have been made to create images from text, such as the GAN model, but there are still parts that don't seem natural. There has also been a lot of progress in the research of generative models based on transformers, such as GPT-3, and the representative model is DALI. DALI 2 has been recently released, and it is bolder. It brought an imagination into the realm of fully-fledged AI. The community that witnessed the birth of the original model, DALI, has already responded enthusiastically. So what's different now? First of all, DALI 2 does not only recognize individual images, it also considers the relationship between images. It's not only doing a partial recognition of koalas and motorcycles, but when you write a koala riding a motorcycle, DALI 2 also considers the relationship between these two images. Second, the resolution was improved. If you search for an avocado chair, you can see a clearer image that has four times better resolution than the original DALI such as the avocado chair on OpenAI's website. Wow. Lastly, it is also possible to transform or reprocess images. DALI 2 uses an image recognition system called CLIP, or Contrastive Language Image Pre-Training, which was also developed by OpenAI. CLIP has the training objective of predicting whether an image and a piece of text match. DALI 2 uses a method that the authors call UNCLIP to produce images. Here, they use a frozen clip model to produce image and text embeddings. Raw text is first fed into the clip text encoder with the text embeddings as the output. From here, DALI 2 attempts to recreate image embeddings produced by clip using either an autoregressive or diffusion prior. It then uses this image embedding to generate the final image using a diffusion decoder. If you're unfamiliar with diffusion models, they work by corrupting the training images by adding Gaussian noise for a set number of iterations. This is done until the training image is approximately pure noise. The model is then trained to reverse this process and gradually denoise the image until a clean sample is produced. The significance of the DALI model can be summarized as follows. First, we can now express things that were hard to express before. As we explained earlier, we can now generate images that were difficult to express even for humans with only text as an input. DALI has made it possible for AI to enter the realm of creation. Second, it can be a way to test whether AI can produce more than the human data or just use the data that is provided. We can use this model to determine whether AI can do more than humans have thought AI could do. Finally, we will be able to see how much AI can understand the human world. We'll see if the human world that DALI 2 sees is in the realm of our imagination or if it's out of it. It's also important to see if this model will be used for good or bad ethically or unethically. And looking at it, it will inevitably be a useful tool for social consensus on safe and useful AI development. OpenAI claims that the DALI model will help develop safe and useful AI. AI models are still evolving, and it's hard to say at this point if DALI 2 is a perfect model. For example, if data labeling is incorrect, it can produce false results, just like someone who has learned the wrong word. Or when it receives text that it hasn't learned before, it will try to produce similar results to what it saw during training, but the results may be too different. We think it's exciting to see the development of DALI with time and see how it can be applied to new areas using what it has learned. We find it unfortunate that it is not open to the public who want to try it. Just like GPT-3, which was not disclosed to everyone but only to a few, DALI 2 is said to be released first to a small number of users. Because it can be used for deepfakes, and it can be used for it to create violent, sensational, and provocative images. Of course, it is said that OpenAI has considered the impact of releasing the model hastily, but we still think it's a pity. In opposition to the monopoly of GPT-3, 
GPT-NEO, an open source version of GPT-3, was created in the open source community. What if DALI-2 developed similarly? We hope to help solve this computational restraints problem using our AI network platform. And in the process, the inevitable resources will be solved with our platform AI network, which advocates for open resources. If we can all create an open source DALI together, a model that surpasses DALI-2 would come out sooner. The side effects that OpenAI is worried about will easily be solved if they are managed together as live in the AI network community, a distributed cloud infrastructure using blockchain. You can now try a small version of DALI released by Phil Wang on Ionize. The model size is small, so the performance is not as good as the latest version of OpenAI. But if you use it, you can get a sense of what kind of model it is. All right, that's the end of this story. Please share your thoughts on this model and Ionize and please click the subscribe button. See you next time.